good evening good evening and good evening so just like every other activity that we are doing in this quarantine time quarantine you know so uh, all of us try to do something different all to, all of us try to do something productive to add to this photography community because all of us are staying in home we have nothing to do so I thought, okay, let me share whatever I can, you know, sitting in this room. So I started with uh, behind uh, some self-portraits and then I moved to the uh, behind the scenes stories of the images that I had. And then I thought, okay, let me start sharing my feedback about the gears that I'm using, right? So today I'm going to start with this lens, my first lens, which I'm I'm going through, is this lens. What is this? Most of you don't even know about this lens, and people who do like Hashim Bhai is here. Ah, you okay, all of uh, all of you guys know seventy to two hundred, right? Before seventy to two hundred, there was uh, like eighty to two hundred, and before eighty to autofocus two point eight. Before 80 to 200, 2.8, there was 80 to 200 f4 and f4.5. So that I'm talking about 40 years old stuff, literally 40 years old stuff. So this lens is 41, 42 years old. All right. This is all metal, total metal. There is uh, no plastic other than this uh, rear cap that's it you see okay so that that's 4.5 aperture you see it's not 2.8 okay what's so special about this lens this uh, uh, the aperture controls from here uh, yeah here yeah. 4.5 22 4.5, 22, or I believe 32. That's 32. This is 4.5. That's 32. And the zoom, basically, it works like this. Yeah, that's how the zoom works. This is 200. This is 80 millimeter. This is 200. And in 200, you are basically doing the focus. Same goes with 70, uh, 80 mm. You are doing the focus over here. So it, it works like this. This is 80. There's a marking on it. This is 80. And then you start going down 205. Or that's 200. So, and the front element is 52 ml. Okay. So what's so special about that lens? It's 4.5. It's not 2.8. It's 4.5. It's panel the focus lens. Okay, if I'm going to lose this, okay, it's, it's, it's lens creep. This is called lens creep. It goes to 200 mm. And if I put it upside down, it goes to 80 mm. Well, that's just the fun part. So what's that special about that lens? Okay, that, uh, uh, five, six years ago, there was an article released from Nikon. And uh, it was about the top some lenses i i forget the number the top some lenses from nikon and that lens was this lens was on that lens and i i didn't put my thought about it because i was enjoying 70 to 200 2 pointed right who cares once you have 2 pointed who cares about 4.5 right i was like that somehow i came across an article from uh, the famous uh, uh guy that uh, ken ken rockwell all right once you search about any gear ken rockwell will be on the top five for sure so ken rockwell uh, article came in front of me and it was about 10 best lenses 10 best lenses and those 10 best lenses that was that lens was that and that 10 best lenses so i thought okay if he's saying something maybe i'll check that i heard from some other only one youtube guy uh, who was talking about that lens and then I thought okay, maybe there is something special about it. So I search on the 
a flicker and the moment i saw the flicker images and i was like shoes is really taken by these because those images were really vivid okay you're saying okay well the saturation is not an issue we can post per i can we can post per set increase the slider what's the point that's not the thing the thing is those images was right from the camera and uh, then i was okay i thought okay let me buy and see so i bought one lens it was very hard for me to because it's not normal lens first you forget where is the focal lens what focal lens you are doing so sometimes this is 200 but initially i was like putting like this 200 no that's 80 this is 200 so it took me a while to understand and that's why like that focus this focus throw is not small it's very long look this is uh, nearest and moving 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 that's the farthest you see the focus throw it's quite a lot actually it's not like it's not like as a 340 degree something like that so i order and that lens is so cheap so cheap uh, in pakistan rupees is less than 10000 rupees can you believe it less than 10000 5000 maybe i don't know 5000 rupees or maximum 8000 rupees but this lens it's so freaking sharp i have sample images in my flickr account just from this lens and i highly suggest you guys to who wants to get their hands on and they cannot afford 7200 2.8 i want you guys to go for this lens if you find it it's all metal it's all metal nothing going to you know beat it nothing Hashim bhai just said something uh, okay Hashim bhai dropped something in the comment section you better uh, you better check that uh, Hashim bhai comments it's such I don't know what it is By what, what it is? What did you write in the comment? It's such a long line. Anyways, so ah, uh, that's the recommendation from me. You must buy this lens. Yeah, Kashivakram post. Kashivakram is basically the source which you can get these kind of lenses from Pakistan. Inside being Pakistan, and. Um, by the way, there are two versions of this lens, 80 to 200. Looks outside similar. Same, this kind of push-pull zoom. All right. As you will find same aperture. All right. Like this, 4.5 to 32. But you have to make sure the lens should have this square at the back. Not circle. You see this is square? Rectangle is not square. Rectangle. The lens that I am recommending is this one, which has this rectangle input, rear element, or window, rear window for the rear element. It's rectangle. There is another version which comes circular. Don't go for that one. Don't go. Go for this one. This is my go-to lens for street photography. If I want to go taking picture of any building, uh, any far because when you are shooting far your depth of field doesn't matter at 200 mm if you are shooting architecture depth of field doesn't matter so even 4.5 box and this lens across the board every focal length it's freaking sharp so it doesn't matter you are shooting at 80 100 135 90 or 200 at 4.5 it's sharp Across the range. Of course, it. This is 40 years old, 41, 42 years old lens. But yeah, of course, it comes with chromatic abrasion, blah blah blah. But it is sharp. It is delivering a character which you not able to see in latest 70 to 200 lenses. 
I can assure you that. I'm not exaggerating. It's tested, it's proven. People who are using this lens ask from them how great this lens is. That's it. So I'm going to move, wind up this video now. Uh, how you are going to come, because oh, by the way, this is total manual focus, there is no electronics. So how you are going to configure it into the camera for the metering. It's very easy. Uh, inside every Nikon camera, go to the non-CPU lens data and configure 80 mm in the focal length and in the aperture 4.5. That's it. So it doesn't matter if you are shooting at 200, it will be the same. There I haven't experienced anything different. So this is the lens. Let me show from the front. Okay, this is the Nikon. You know what? Wait for it. Wait for it. Mm. Boom. Ah. Next time I will do that. Okay. Here you go. That's uh, Nikon. That's 80 to 200. That's 4.5. And that's the serial number. So, this is the lens. I just love this lens. That's my all time, one of the all time favorite lens. Now, if you want autofocus, I suggest you go for the latest one, not the VR2 72200 EF 2.8 EFL. Go for that lens. That lens is really worth every single penny. It provides best VR, provides best color, sharpness across the board. And it is autofocus, but it comes with a fortune of price tag attached to it. So it's your call if you want to spend like, I don't know, two and a half thousand dollars, go for that lens. But if you want to spend like fifty dollars, go for that lens. I swear to God, it's like on internet, it's like 50, 50, 65, 70 dollars maximum. That's the price of this lens. And that lens, it's so, so, so sharp. So if you have money, go for the FL version. But if you want to save money, because now I have started sharing this idea that photography you can do on a much budget basis you can do a lot with the best optical quality best color best rendition but using cheap lenses and i can guide you all the way which lenses are the best which can the, that's my agenda now somebody is whatsapping me i have to check thank you very much stay tuned at view stay safe bye